Hello everybody, this is TechStack here, and welcome to the Tribes Season 2 Warfare of the Ancient map. Um, just kind of want to give you a little bit of a walk through the map if you didn't see my previous video. Plus we've made a lot of changes. As you can see, we now have the Master Chunk uh, base set up here. And let me go ahead and turn on any eyes chunk borders. You can see that the um, border for this chunk is right here. So the blocks that make up the inside walls of this base are all contained within the chunk. Um, so the structure itself is sound and while the outside walls might be able to be taken over, um, the inside cannot. Let me turn this back off. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you can see we've got some pistons up here. Um, this base design was made by Help, um, member on my server, and he set it up so that there's lava behind these pistons that will flow out over the uh, kind of angled section of the base. Um, when you flip all the levers off, um, the pistons retract, let the lava out, and kind of give you a little bit of a base defense um, if anybody's out here on the, the outer edge of the base on those spots. Um, second floor is pretty um, easy to see in here. You can see out, um, get a good angle on a lot of uh, people that might be approaching, um, fire down upon them, but you can't just walk in or out of the base, so um, prevents people from uh, rushing up to this level. Um, it is open, so people could possibly enter pearl into here. Um, and then the top floor, again, ender pearl vulnerable, but lots of visibility for firing upon your enemies that are coming at you. Um, some trap doors to stop people from uh, that are not on your team getting down in there because factions will prevent them from opening it. And of course, we have a colored flag in the color of the team. Um, so this one's yellow, there's an orange, there's a blue, there's a purple. Um, also down here, he put some decorations, of course, but uh, press for dead bush of destiny. There's a button there. Um, or dispenser dispenses a bush into your hand. Um, there's only one per base, as far as I know, and it's got an enchantment of knockback two on it. I think they were um, just wanted to have a special custom item for our map, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, let's go on over here, and if the lo world loads in front of me, um, we've got a abandoned farm here with uh, carrots, potatoes, and wheat. Um, that was one thing that we were missing on the map. Um, not so much the wheat because you can get it from tall grass, but the carrots and potatoes, there was no other place on the map to do it. Um, and there's some chests in here with some additional supplies inside of them. Um, we have added horses to the map. So you can find your mount. Um, there are sheep, as you can see, wandering around here. Um, sheep might be a good thing to have. I don't know if the mod itself needs it. But, um, you know, if you want to change your flag out when you conquer someone else's base, you're going to need wool to do that. And, uh, of course, the appropriate dies. Um, there are pumpkins on the map. There are farm animals. You can see there's a cow, there's a pig. Um, there's some chickens and more cows in the um, jungle. Um, there's reeds scattered across the map. Um, there's one there. There is more. I don't remember where all they are. Um, the cactus, more sheep. Um, and let's head towards the center. And you're probably wondering, well, why am I giving all this stuff away? It kind of ruins the map. Well, the four team leaders have been on here quite a bit. Um, the four ops on the server. And I just wanted it to be fair for everyone. Um, some of the ops have been on here a little bit more than others. Um, there are four nether portals. Um, we put wool in the corners of the nether portals corresponding to which team you uh, came back on. Um, because all these portals, when you go into the nether, lead to one single nether portal. When you teleport back from the nether, they all go to just one of them. I think it's the purple team, um, but it doesn't really give the purple team much of an advantage having that set up. Yes, they will be able to just run right back to their base and everybody else has to cross the ravine, but there's easy ways down the ravines. Um, but it gives uh, them a disadvantage because if I'm on yellow, for example, I go into the nether, I come back from the nether, I'm instantly across all this area and I don't have to do anything about it. Um, so the good outweighs the bad, or the bad outweighs the good, however you want to look at it. It makes them kind of bounced. Um, here is our central area, which is NPC controlled. Um, and let me fly over here. You can see that this area here is wilderness. 
this area here surrounding where it has lava um, like ring around and all the nether portals is war zone. You will not be able to build in the war zone. You will not be able to um, break any blocks in the war zone. However, you can have PvP battles and things like that. There is no way of capturing the war zone. Its power is too great. You won't be able to do it. Um, the rest of this area is not controlled by war zone. Uh, there's another ring of uh, three chunks each direction um, around the center chunk that is wilderness. So you can come in here and break blocks. As you can see, there is NPCs guarding each of these towers, and there are arches inside of them. Um, they are hungry. They should be going in there and getting food soon. Um, if they're not, we'll, we'll work that out. Um, so what this means for you is there's no way of building across this. You'll have to use the mod itself to figure out how to get across or some other ingenious method, maybe Brinder Pearls. Um, and when you do, you need to fight off these guys. Um, their range is such that if you take about one block, step out into this area um, at this height, they will start firing on you from those ledges. Um, so be, be warned. Um, and when you come up into here, again, more archers, more NPC foot soldiers, um, just be ready for a battle, guys. These guys are not going to let you just walk into their base and take it from them. Um, they will fight you. And, of course, this area, as I fly into it, you'll see down on the bottom of my screen, it says center. That is the faction. It doesn't have any current power, but it has this one single claim chunk. So the first team here to make it in here and defeat the NPCs can claim it and make it theirs. Um, there are some other features in the map you can see down in... The, in between each quadrant or each team um, there is a ravine that uh, spans the distance of the map and it just gives you a little bit of a um, divide between the teams the whole thing is surrounded in a bedrock wall um, and as you can see as I'm flying around there are all sorts of underground mine shafts and caves that need to be explored and uh, looted um, okay let me do one more thing here up to the ceiling here. Um, above spawn we have a bedrock area and we thought that would be a good place to put in uh, our uh, spawn area. So when you first spawn into the map you'll be deposited in this room. Um, if you read the signs you can do uh, join a faction if you're not already on one. Um, I'm going to try and set everybody up on a faction so that that isn't necessary. Um, don't change factions unless your team has been dissolved or, or has lost. Um, and you type F or slash F home and that will take you to your team's base, basically. Um, so you can get out of here quickly. Um, let's get down here real quick. And let's head off to the nether. So I can show you the nether. Um, the nether, we ended up deciding against building a fortress in the nether. Um, our own custom one. We were going to place it here originally, but... Uh, after flying around in the nether a little bit, we realized that there are nether fortresses here fairly close. You can see there's one right there. Um, and there are spawners, there are um, nether war, etc. Um, inside of these things. So have at it. Um, you'll be able to get your blazes, you'll be able to get your nether war. That's really the main reason we were going to build a fortress. Um, there are other fortresses other than this one um, close by. Um, we just thought this would be a good one to uh, to have. It gives you a little bit more challenge. You have to cross the, the lava lake here, find your way around, that type of thing. Um, and when you go back through the portal, let's show you which one you come out on because I don't remember myself. Um, the rule still applies. Don't break the spawners. Okay, when you come out, I would suggest not moving. <laughs> You're going to come out over top of the lava lake. I've had that happen every single time. And it looks like yellow is the team that you'll come back on. So be prepared to cross back to your team if you're not on yellow. If you are on yellow, be prepared to defend this area because everybody and their brother is going to come back for that nether portal. So there we have it. That is the map for Season 2 of Tribes, um, Warfare of the Ancients. This is Tech Tech signing off. Have a good day. Bye now.